As has become tradition on the channel, we're heading to the Ishmin South Central Plough Final for the third successive season and this year it's Marlow vs Leverhead in a massive second vs third grand finale. On Wednesday night in the semi-finals, Marlow saw off Westfield 3-2. As for Leverhead, they beat Southall on penalties after a 1-1 result. Marlow will be favourites slightly as they have the home advantage and Mark Bartley's side have already beaten the Tanners twice this season, 2-0 and 4-0. David Rogowski is Marlow's prolific top goalscorer, bagging 44 goals in all competitions. Alongside him, they also have striker Dave Tarpey, who is very experienced and who ironically joined from Leatherhead in November, and he has 24 goals in 29 appearances. Looking at Leatherhead, their top bagsman is Trevon Robinson, with around 18 goals to his name. Surely, with all this talent, it should be raining goals today. Well, I hope so for content. Please drop a like on the video to show your support for the channel, and we'll see you when we get there. Me and Gemma are going to make score predictions for this afternoon's playoff final. I'm going to say Marlow 3, Leverhead 1. And it's not just a case of Marlow's home advantage and the fact that Marlow finished slightly higher than Leverhead, but also Marlow have won all five of their last five games. Leverhead have only won two of their previous five. But Gemma, what's your score prediction? My score prediction is Marlow 2, Leverhead 1. Marlow's been on great form in the past, so yeah, hopefully they should do it today. And I'd imagine if Marlow win today, they'd be placed in the Southern League Premier South alongside the likes of Bracknell. But if Leverhead win, then I'm 99.9% .9 sure they've been the Ishmael Premier. If it's a draw after 90 minutes of play, it will go, of course go to half an hour of extra time. And if the teams can't be separated after extra time, then it would go into a penalty shootout, which would be wonderful drama, wouldn't it? But with that, we'll see you inside the Alfred Davis Memorial Ground. Hopefully we should see a big attendance here for this playoff final. I'm hoping for at least a thousand. Milo's going to have probably at least four or five hundred of their fans, I'd imagine. Whilst Leverhead, I believe, are bringing two lots of coaches of fans to the ground today. So that's at least 120 of them. But I'd imagine there'd be at least three or four hundred of them, bare minimum. We should hopefully get over a thousand in attendance here. As you can see behind me is the Alfred Davis Memorial Ground. It is. A very nice looking old school ground, there's plenty of undercover and there's this great big, well old school looking seated stand behind me, which I'll try and focus on, but I'll give you a ground review in just a moment. So the ground, the pitch is just grass, it's not 3G like a lot of non-league grounds are going these days. There's this old school seated stand over there, it looks really nice and old school, I love to see this. It looks wonderful, it's got the obviously the club name on it, it just gives you nice old school vibes doesn't it? We've got undercover standing terrace on this side and obviously got undercover standing terrace behind this goal so there's not much else to say other than that really i mean there's a car park behind here we've got food over here as well so check some of that out in just a moment so today i've opted for this bacon cheeseburger complete with onions set me back £5.50 prices have gone up everywhere nationally dear but i expect it to be honest with you looks all right i mean the bun looks all right i suppose burger looks quite thin the burger to bun ratio isn't fantastic but you've got a nice bit of bacon in there but we'll see how it's tasting in just a moment and Gemma's also got this she's bought her Nutella biscuits from home let's see how this tastes well this tastes better than it looks definitely so the burger itself tastes really nice nice flavor to it the bacon is cooked perfectly nice crispiness to it but it's not overdone obviously the the onions complement it quite well the bun you know it's not the best but it's not the worst yeah, I have to give this 9 out of 10. It tastes really nice in my mouth. Yeah, I'm just, I've got to put this camera down so I can enjoy the rest of it. It is so good. There you go, the Ishmael South Central 2024 playoff final. Big game ahead, but who's going to go up? We'll soon find out.
I spy with my little eyes something beginning with S. If you said swan, you are correct. Never had other better team at the moment. They're keeping the ball on the floor, playing some nice attacking football. Whereas Milo just hoofing it at the moment. So Milo really have to, I'd say, play some more attractive football at the moment. They're just hoofing it. It's all kicking off here. Loads of big tackles going in, but the ref is not giving any of them, it seems. This referee is very lenient this afternoon. He's not giving away many free kicks at all. Just the odd one. And uh, the Leverhead fans are absolutely furious. It's so half time. It is nil nil. I have to say, I think Leverhead are more likely to be scoring in the second half. They've had more opportunities. Marlo just seems to be hoofing it. I mean, they've had the chances, don't get me wrong, but Marlo are just playing hoofball at the moment whilst Leverhead are keeping it on the floor. Playing attractive attacking football when they look like the more likely team to score it and the referee is very lenient which um, is the disbelief of Levhead fans but we need a more intense second half I think it's not been that great a half but we see how second half goes hopefully there's some scenes and some limbs And surprisingly, Marlo Tech leading this playoff final. It was a great corner and it just was headed in. And it's 1 0 to Marlo. There's flares, blue flares now out. The atmosphere is live up massively. And and the game, game is live up down, down, now. Two to the good in this playoff final. Second, second goal for Marlow, scored in the 61st minute. Number four, Rogers! And here comes another blue flare in celebration. And like that, it's 2-0 to Marlow and Leverhead are shell shocks now. They've got a lot of work to do in this second half. And I think that full uh, back of the round is scored in the 66th minute by number nine. Rogowski! And of course it was David Rogowski with his 45th goal of the campaign. 
unless they can pull off a miracle now, I think Leverett are done and dusted. I mean, still time in it, but I think Marlow is their promotion to step three in the bag now. We're about 10 or so minutes now from Marlow's potential promotion. And Marlow have to be delighted with their performance in the second half. They've been running rings around Leverett, I think, at the moment. And Leverett had poor goal back. Is it too little, too late, though? About five or so minutes to go. So it's doable. I've seen. I've seen miracles happen before, but Leverhead pull goal back and it's 3-1. Now the poor Swan is we've been chucked on with the flare. But Ray Stewart to the rescue. It's going on over here. Wow. Fisty cuffs right at the end of this club final. It has been dramatic. And it's going down to the final whistle of this entertainment, I'd say. Uh, Congratulations, Marlo, on being promoted to step three, presumably the Southern League Premier South. It was well deserved in the end. A great second half from the Blues. And Marlo are up to step three. A little flare being thrown on for good measure from the Leverhead fans. And here they come. Of course you've got to have a pitch invasion with flares. Just standard, isn't it? And on league. But there we have it, it finished 3 0 to Marlow, and congratulations to everyone involved at Marlow on your promotion to step three, presumably the Southern League Premier South. So we'll see you against Bracknell possibly next season. It was a much better second half for Marlow. Leverhead was just very lackluster. They got their goal, which gave them a bit of hope. But apart from that, they struggled to get a second. And Marlow, um, yeah, it was a game of two halves, I'd say, but Marlow obviously the better side in the second half. Some great headers, two great headers in that second half. And you just have to say they were the better team overall, I'd say, this afternoon. And, um, yeah, commiserations to Leverhead, obviously, third season at step four now, next season. Great attendance as well today, 1,500 and something. And also, yeah, it was just a solid atmosphere for most of the game. I'm, I'm attending another player final tomorrow, you'll see that on the channel very soon. Thank you guys as always for your support on the channel and watching, and I'll see you guys very soon.